Enemy ban. Ah. This is the Reddit Dota 2 League Playoff Tournament. We're in the winner bracket semifinals, and it is deleted versus Autobots. This is game one of a potential best of three. And this should be a good one. Lone Druid going to be the first ban. And Autobots will respond in kind, removing the Bat Rider. Deleted does have the first pick, so they can try and sneak through any particular hero that they sh should so desire. <coughs> the question here is, are they going to ban the Nyx Assassin, or are they going to ban the Magnus? Those are the two that stand out right now. Waiting on that, closing in on reserve time. 15 seconds to go for that decision. They actually go with the Keeper of the Light, so both of those will be available. And it is the Magnus. So Nyx Assassin, available for Autobots. And that's what they go with. IO also uh, available if they want to go that route. Alternatively, they have Darkseer, but they end up going with Rubik. Top tier supports out of Autobots to start it off. Deleted going with the Magnus. Now the typical... Uh, here's my game is frozen. There we go. Apologies there as it kind of speeds up. There, uh, as I was saying, deleted typical mag player Hrathgar not available. They're playing with a stand in, return the slab. Shadow Demon Lashrak, the choice, supports out of deleted. So they're still going to be looking for an offlaner and their primary carry. Autobot selecting the gyrocopter. Deleted, more known for that choice, not going to be playing it today. Now into the next ban phase. Autobots, very solid lineup as I would describe. Actually, both sides, I say very solid. A lot of aggressive potential out of deleted. Autobots, a little later on. The support's not quite as much kill potential early on between Rubik and Nyx Assassin, but once the Nyx hits that level 6, uh, Shao Demon and Lashrak beware. Going to be looking for those pickoffs. Ten seconds remaining. As it is right now, it does look like it's going to be support Nyx Assassin and not a mid. Remaining. Magnus almost always mid these days. Reserve time. <clears throat> Autobots is going to be looking for their own mids. Potentially, if Gyrocopter doesn't go there, it's unclear. Gyrocopter could be a farming gyro or a or a mid as a secondary carry. Clockwork, a ban from Autobots. Seeing the need for that offlaner. <laughs> so far, again, good drafts out of both. No, they are very solid and still open as we go into, as we approach the final two picks for each team. Waiting on deleted for their next choice in terms of bans. Ten seconds remaining. A, a nice synergy is, with seconds. Magnus is if he does catch a big reverse polarity, you can follow up on top of that with the split earth for additional stun time and damage. Across uh, the grouped up heroes, Darkseer banned by deleted. I feel as though they could have left that until their last ban. It was entirely plausible that Autobots would have banned out the Darkseer, given that they started off banning offlane heroes against deleted themselves. In which case, they would have had more options. Open to him, but as it is, Luna actually the selection. So now moving into carries that they don't want to face, as deleted also needs to fill out that role. Final ban coming out will be from deleted. Still to be seen what that is.
A hero that I like both for and against Magnus is the Silence or the Global Silence as either a prevention of turning around the an attempt on reverse polarity Ten seconds remaining. or if there's a, a blink in a Five silence to prevent remaining. and have counter initiation the choice for the lead to remove is the nature's profit though final ban autobots move clockwork and luna so far Who don't you want to see? Uh, a pretty classic hero combination is Mag and Anim Animage, and Autobots chooses to ban the Animage. Deleted going with Phantom Lancer. They've played him before. Autobots now going to have to respond. Deleted actually choosing the Phantom Lancer after Autobots already has the Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter actually. Chosen as something of a counter pick against Fam Lancer between Call Down Ten and Flat Cannon. Remaining. Can burst down the illusions, though. Ultimately, Fam Lancer is Five going to out carry remaining. him. Still remains to be seen if Gyro is going to be in the safe lane farming or as a mid. Weaver, Weaver the selection. Radiant team pick. Up against the Shadow Demon Lashrak, I wouldn't expect an aggressive tri lane, so. Expect this to be an off-lane weaver. Or, he again, he could be a safe-lane farming weaver, but... I, I, I'm inclined to say off-lane, which could leave a mid to be selected, but still pretty open, to be honest. You could put weaver safe-lane, you could put him off-lane, which means they could still pick Five up a safe-lane carry or an off-lane hero to round out their lineup. Or a mid hero for that matter. Deleted, looking to round out their lineup, still in need of their own off laner. Still in the pool. Uh, we, we've seen Deleted run the off lane Treant a few times, so they could be going with that. Alternatively, some classic off laners still available. Windrunner, still in the pool. You could have a Beastmaster stacking Ancients. Going to have to wait and see what it is. The lead also potentially has the option to go into an aggressive tri lane. Shadow Demon Lestrak always very strong. Uh, Spirit Lance also. And there's the Treant Protector. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. The offlane Treant. And to be honest, this is where I would... Oh, and Slark is the final pickup from Autobots. So it looks like it'll be Slark mid. Weaver offlane and Gyrocopter safe lane. What I would actually like to see, seeing the Treant Protector, my inclination is to put an aggressive tri lane up against that... Uh, up against the safe lane trio of deleted just to allow the weaver to 1v1 the treant. Treant with a lot of base damage, but be honest in you know, 1v1 scenario, I believe weaver's going to get the better of that exchange over time. But we're in the game, in the dire side. It is Autobots. First up, Gyrocopter looks like he's headed towards the safe lane, and that and he is controlled by Wax. Towards the off lane, we have Polar on the Weaver. Joining the Gyrocopter are the supports on the Nyx Assassin, a dire situation, and the Rubik is handled by Creative. Then headed towards mid, it's E4, H6 on Slark. Radiant. We have deleted. First out is Lashrak, being played by Chib, looking to secure his jungle, which has actually already been warded. Joining him, the carry is played by the stand in, Return the Slab, filling in for Harafgar. Their additional support. 
is actually played by Chinese guy. Not his usual role, but he'll take on the Shadow Demon and then head it out toward mid. Webb is on the Magnus. Finally, the Treant Protector off laning is BB. We have a ward. This will be blocking the pull camp. BB was not so fortunate to be able to do that. And he'll have to contend with pulls. An initial pause here. And that will give us to, a chance to look at the starting items. Salve, two, ta two sets of tangos, two branches, and a ring of protection on Phantom Lancer. Trying to calculate exactly how much that is. I guess, yeah. An alternative would be an additional branch instead of the additional set of tangos. You can actually afford that. That goes with the extra regen. As Phantom Lancer without the stout shield tanks up. Takes a bit more damage from creeps under a pulled. When he's under tower while the supports are pulling. The Shrak all supported up. Clarity's regen and a couple wards. Similar case for the Shadow Demon is holding a smoke. Looks like they've pulled the Treant possibly a little bit. But taking a lot of damage. Lift up, Rocket Barrage. Treant in a lot of trouble goes in Viz. The sentry is put down. And he walks right past it. First blood on the Treant up top. Unfortunate there, and Autobot's off to a very nice start. Supports here on the side deleted. Find that they've been warded. Not able to find the sentry. As it is in the trees. Still looking, not able to find it so far. <laughs> now the Treant. Headed back up towards top. Still waiting on level 2. Has gone nature's guys first, which I'm guess it's solid enough. Either nature's guys or living armor, either one would work, I believe, in an offlane situation. Really, you want level two, so you can have one of both. So far, Gyro getting the best of the last hits, nine last hits, as well as the first blood off to a great start. Rubik doing a bit of harass. Treant looking to trade with that massive base damage. However, if you take four or five shots, you end up with the worst of that exchange. Magnus picks up an Invis rune, does not have his bottle as of yet. Waiting nearby. I'm not sure what the plan is here. Supports rotating in. Shadow Demon not able to get off a disruption. Now both supports are visible. It's going to be a bit of a wasted time. Both supports level 1. So they're hurting for experience with this blocked pull camp. Not able to find the ward. More harass out on this Treant Protector. Still looking for level 2. Pulls doing wonders that denying experience. Spirit Lance doing some harass on the Weaver. Quite annoying for him. And now exchanges back with Shikuchi. This hard camp stacked up. Now we've had actually the Shadow Demon rotate up towards top to provide some support. The Shrak's still mid.
Magnus at level 3 versus level 5 on the Slark, so this is not really going well there. So, meanwhile, the best thing the lead has going right now is this Phantom Lancer leading the way in CS. However, the Weaver, originally up against a uh, uh, defensive tri-lane, now able to actually start farming himself and get experience. <laughs> Another boss. Slark in an aggressive position. But, I mean, we look at the levels right now. Shadow Demon's still level 1. Got yeah, level 2 on the Treant and the Lashrak. By comparison, the supports on the side of Autobots, both at level 3. Mag at level 3, which is not working out so well. Either on the side of Deleted. Got Gyro 4, Weaver 4, Slark 5. Or at mid, a shockwave doing some damage to Slark as he has to back off up top. Trying to get any sort of experience on these two heroes who have been struggling as much as anyone. The flak cannon damage. Let's look at that on the level 1, now level 2 shadow demon. Actually, 2 in rocket barrage and 2 in flak cannon. Interesting selection. A skewer in, but not able to get close enough to matter, even misses the shockwave, and now out of mana. He does have a regen rune, though, so no big deal. Down towards bottom, Lestrak is back here. The ward going to be coming in close to running out soon. Now the Treant, a bit forward position, takes a little more harass, not going to go on him though. No, uh, there is still a sentry available, if they wanted to. Comes another pull. Magnus still two levels behind. Slark at level 6 is going to be able to quickly regen up as soon as he's out of vision, as we can see. Down bottom, we once again have this tri-lane going. The Weaver is closing in on level 6 now, while the Sport's at level 2 and level 3. Denied. So trying to finish off the Weaver is going to be very difficult at this point. The Shrak moving in, just is zoning out. And so far, at least in the early game, Autobots getting the much better exchange in this laning phase. Have to see what happens once the two sides begin to rotate and really move around the map. Look for towers. The aggressive lane ward about to run out for Autobots. That should get the Treant just a little bit of room. Two more wards in stash for Nyx Assassin, but not on hand as of yet. The Slark running in behind. He jumps in. The Skewer back. Ults, but he's visible now under tower. Gotta be careful, but has to back off. Not able to get anything done there. Actually, yes, uh, Pounce first is actually the most common selection. One for one, then Max Dark Pact.
So if we check out the last hits, again, the uh, Phantom Lancer keeping up with the Gyro, which is the one big advantage. The one good thing going for deleted. Now Slark coming around as well as 2v3 right now on the dire side trying to dive into this. Middle tower, everyone go! go! A lot of rotation there, but no engagement. The lift up on the tree and rocket barrage. And that's enough to bring him down. They get catch out the tree and again is four for and it's four zero. Down bottom we have some more action. Sakuching away. Bolt out of Slark. Not visible, but Starting to take damage now, it runs out, leap, miss. Green dude's top thing is about to get knocked over. Radiant's Up towards top, top we have a TP over. reaction out of the Shadow Demon trying to hold this tower. And we'll hold for now. Mag and... Tree rotating up, but Mag, Mag headed back toward mid. Still working on his arcane boots. So not having the best of time. Not having the best of time so far. He is level 7 now, so he has reverse polarity. And once again, we have this dual lane top. Shadow Demon helping out. Oh, there's some harass going on on the bottom lane between Weaver and Phantom Lancer. Support's finally getting the option to pull just a little bit. You're going to be trying to pull through. He still has a set of tangos, so he's able to do that. Looks like they've already cleared that tree. If they, so if he can time it right, he can pull that right through and not push the lane. Unless that was the intention to push the lane. Actually ends up being enough to clear that. Mag looks like he's going to try and rotate up top. Can he get something done? He did pick up the invis under the ward. So playing it back. Behind the tower right now. They are pulling. Just going to skewer. What's the plan here? Breaks the invis. He's not even going to get off the reverse polarity. The call down finishes him off. And that ends up going four for zero. Triple kill to the gyrocopter. Not willing to commit the reverse polarity on one. Skewer is in. Goes into tower, TP reaction, there's a call down, and along with the impale, too much. Now it looks like this tier 1 may be forfeit care of that. There is a TP in from the tree and protector. You can cast living armor on the tower to help defend just a little bit. Not even going to commit that, it looks like. Oh, there we go. That will delay slightly, but there goes the tower. This goes to the Dire, and General Skewers in. Reverse polarity on the Gyrocopter. The Split Earth, enough to bring down the Gyrocopter, at least. Actually stole reverse polarity and used it on two to try and get away. Chasing after, though. Shockwave does some damage. Can he get it? He gets the split earth, they get the last hit, and they get two there. <laughs> and Deleted is on the board with two kills, including the gyrocopter. Middle tower is under attack. So good choice. Slark looking to get aggressive, but decides better of it. 
heads back towards Radiant his mid tower. Down on bottom, it continues to be this 1v1 situation between Phantom Lancer and Weaver. Phantom Lancer way ahead though, 69, la 62 last hits versus 25 on the Weaver. He's level 9. Weaver back at level 8, so doing relatively well in terms of experience. Phantom Lancer closing in on that Diffusal Blade. That's 700 gold away. Magnus skewers in Shockwave, Shadow Poison. Not able to hit with the Shockwave, so it's not enough to bring him down. Bottles up just a little bit. Nyx rotating down from top. While Gyrocopter is split pushing top as well. Down on bottom, pressure coming out on this tier 1 tower. Rubik hiding in the jungle. Phantom Lancer is on to them though. Farming safely under the tower. Rubik actually has stolen Doppelwalk. And Nyx Assassin heads back up toward top. Slark working on his Orchid. He has Treads. Wand and his Stout Shield. Lestrac on simply brown boots. Arcanes is done on Magnus, but he's still 1100 gold away from Blink Dagger. Not doing quite as well as he would have liked. Slark in an aggressive position, gonna go on the Lestrac! Dark Pact and Pounce, enough to bring him down quickly. Now gonna try and turn on the Shadow Demon. Ends up stopping, might have been some control problems, but that's enough to get both. Gets down low, but he'll get away, and with his ult, quickly regen back up. Over aggressive out of the supports there, thinking that they'd be able to go on the Slark. And not looking great. Mad dudes, middle tower. Everyone, go, now. Everything early game going the way of Autobots. Gyrocopter leading the way in net worth 7,300, 7,400, going 6, 1, and 1. Wax cleaning up. Is it worth your life? Yeah, still waiting on that mag to get his blink dagger. Skewers ahead, not able to do anything. Axe right up. Got Nyx Assassin under Vendetta. He's spotted out by the Tower Vision, going in to try and find the Phantom Lancer. He's in trouble. But able to get out of the trees, the TP reaction now. Shadow Demon is there. The Nyx Assassin goes right on the Shadow Demon, but he gets turned around on. Nyx Assassin goes down. Rubik went down during all of that as well. Reverse polarity on the Weaver. Time lapse, no, he does not have the mana for time lapse and goes down. Slark now to engage. Dark Pack gets the. He actually gets the Shadow Demon, now going on the Lushrak before trying to escape. Pounces accident, misclick, goes in the wrong direction. Otherwise, he would have been out of there. But the Haste Rune going to help him get away. Oh, the Shockwave. He picks up the double damage rune. Ballsy. But it looks like he's going to get away. He's out of vision and is now regenning. Shockwave stolen on Magnus. There's the Pounce in. Skewer up to the high ground though. Lashrak with the split earth. They're able to actually trade. Magnus for the Slark. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Bunch of trades there and deleted doing relatively well for themselves considering the position. We'll check in on the XP and gold graph. It was hitting the 7,500 mark on each, but that will that will move back up just a little bit. Gyro going on the very cost-effective item, items with phase drums, Akila, Yasha. Slark 
sitting on 2200 gold could pick up an ultimate orb here. Picks up the tree and the disrupt will save him for a moment, but the call down going to finish him off. There it is. Weaver going to dive past tier one, going on the shadow demon. One right click with the germinate is enough. And they back off. They get two kills there for free. 15 to 6. On Autobots. Down towards bottom, Slark goes on the Phantom Lancer. Does not have vision, though. And now there's a TP reaction. Four congregating mid on the side of Autobots. Sanjit Yasha the choice at a gyrocopter. That's... I'm, I'm not sure I've ever seen that. But he'll, he'll definitely be flying. Race car build. On the gyro. Disrupted. Soul catcher as well. Split Earth. Even spending the reverse polarity to make sure of that, but reverse polarity and then spent on the Lashrak to try and get away. The lift up on the Magnus, split earth enough to finish him off. Actually, Lashrak ends up going down with the rotation of Weaver and Nyx Assassin. Ends up a trade there. The tree and Lashrak for Gyro and the Rubik a bit better for the side of Deleted. Fusal Blade is done. Looks like he's moving into Yasha next. Slark waiting in the wings, just looking for his opportunity to pounce. Should have an engagement any moment. He has Orchid, leaps in, Orchid on the Magnus. He's one dead Magnus. The call down though, and it's a trade. The Shadow Demon goes down from that. Now they're gonna get the Tree Amp Protector. They didn't even... They didn't need the Slark. He, he's able to remove the Magnus from the from the battle. Wasn't really as important since reverse polarity was on cooldown either way. Call down and flat cannon do a ton of damage. And there's just so much damage coming out of Autobots right now that they that without the reverse polarity, I'm not sure there's anything deleted can do. However, keep in mind, the Fam Lancer has not been a part of any of this. He's just split, split pushing bottom right now. Going to be looking to pressure this tier one. EP in, but they lose the tier two. Skewer ahead. Is the reverse polarity going to come out? It does, but only on the Nyx Assassin. Misses the gyrocopter, and that's big trouble. Call down. And the reverse polarity out of Rubik really messed that up. And now they're pushing in towards tier three. The Fam Lancer gets a tier one. But that's not a whole lot. Tower goes down. Now looking at Rax here at 21 minutes in. Phantom Lancer is back, but he's out of mana. He's actually headed back to the fountain to refill. Shockwave, skewer in. Does not have reverse polarity, though. Gets lifted up. And he gets bursted down. The gyrocopter's still alive. Treant going to go down once again. Shadow Demon in trouble now. The pounce on him. Self-disruption helps keep him alive for a while. But the Fade Bolt... Enough to bring him down. Now the Phantom Lancer looking to re-engage. A lot of low heroes here. He might have a chance. But the Pounce and the Dust. They're going to focus him down. Buy back out of Shadow Demon. But there's nothing he can do. The mid racks is gone. Autobots plowing right through. 
Shadow Demon then caught out by the pounce again. Buyback is available on the Phantom Lancer, but there's no point. The rack's already down. And this is really going one way. 14,000, 15,000 experience and gold. Lincoln's done on the Weaver. Treant had a rough game. He's been sitting on the same few items. Boots, Basilius, want, uh, Magic Stick, couple branches for forever. Long time coming on the mech at a Nyx Assassin. Just about done. Couple hundred away from that. Rubik Force Staff, Arcanes. Rubik still does have reverse polarity, but not for long. Doesn't look like he's going to have it in time for the next fight. And this will be Roshan for the Autobots. And if you thought it was hard winning this fight so far... Give an Aegis to Gyrocopter. Monkey King Bar done as well. And this is going to be just too much. The entire team moving down towards bottom going to have to get out of get out of there. The Phantom Lancer running back. Do they have do they have dust? Orchid not in time. Leap forward. That's just an illusion. Actually go Spirit Lance, go on the Slark, but he's just gonna ult invis and regen and get away. Nyx Assassin. Your is vendetta, but the sentry ward there spots him out. But uh, Shadow Demon was caught in the junk in the woods here down towards bottom. Tried to buy time with the disruption, not enough. And goes down once again. Rough game for him as well. Ten deaths leading the way. Link in, reverse polarity on two. Reverse polarity stolen once again. In comes Rubik, reverse polarity on four. Phantom Lance are going to be able to get away. Now able to follow up with the shockwave immediately, and that gets turned around right away. And this looks like it's going to be Rax number two. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Still the Aegis available on Gyrocopter. Yeah, the Purge out on Weaver, but he's able to Shikuchi away. Spamming this out. They're delaying long enough for Magnus to get back up. Reverse polarity down for another 50 seconds. Looks like they're actually going to back off. TP home for Gyro. He's just going to regen there. Oh, no. He actually TP top. Sitting on 2200 gold. Have to see what he ends up going in for next. Mech is done on the Nyx. Armlet Orchid on Slark. Big fan of Armlet on Slark. Really use the health, though. I probably would have gone that before Orchid. But that's entirely preference. Rubik has Bottle now. He's... See if he got that from someone else. He did. That's handed over from the Slark. Opting for other items at this point, holding the gem. Slark 
Slark looking to pounce on the tree ant, not able to get the opportunity backs right up. The weaver is around as well. First polarity still available on Rubik for quite a bit now. You have to look out for that. He also has Force Staff. No Blink, but he does have some initiation available to him. As they're looking in to, to push in, they don't really need to push in top. They want another Rax, ideally. Top looks like the target. Bottom actually has momentum against them, so that's actually going to push into this Tier 2. We'll have to see if they end up defending or if they'll just pop the Fortify for that. Double damage on Gyro. Looks like this may be the moment to go, but actually it's just about run out. Being very hesitant to force the issue, and it can be very difficult to push into a Magnus. However, again, Rubik still has Reverse Polarity available to him. There's Reverse Polarity. The Force Staff. Rubik still not used. Now he's used Reverse Polarity. And that's four for zero. GG called out of deleted. Autobots taking game one. And right from the get-go, a lot of problems. And deleted gonna look to try and turn that around in game one. We said support not the typical role out of Mr. Chinese guy and it didn't really work out for him. He actually did still lead his team in kills with four, but not really the result they were looking for. And down comes the ancient. Autobots will lead this series one to zero in the winner's bracket semi-finals of the Reddit Dota 2 League Playoff Tournament. Gyrocopter leading the way, 16 and three. We'll have to see if Deleted can come back or if Autobots can close it out in Game 2 of this series coming up.